Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to add uh, the UI buttons into the Amazon Lex uh, version V2 bot. Okay, uh, so this is we will do using the slot. Okay, so coming back to our Lex uh, UI section, right? This is the this is where we left uh, in the previous video, right? So where we have just created a intent which is a welcome and just saying out hi welcome to xyz something like that so if i say hi right so it will give me something like hi welcome to blah 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 and nothing else is there so if i type uh, let's say the one which i'm creating account balance i'm supposed to get uh, the uh, fallback intent okay anyway so that is not uh, the thing we are looking for Okay, so now what we need is we want to capture a value. So now uh, in the conversation, right? So that we saw, we deleted the value. Uh, either I can ask the user in a free flow NLP way, right? Where I can say, please provide in few words, how can I assist you and blah, blah, blah. I just can say account balance, uh, uh, transfer, talk to agent, whatever the solutions we want to implement. <clears throat> but uh, if we want to showcase the buttons right uh, then we have to use something called slot okay now let's first uh, fix this one delete, delete and point to this one okay and by default this one to this one we are not going to further conversation so all the success and this one Failure over there. End of connection. Okay, so now uh, once we go to the slot, uh, we require a slot name. So let's give something like main menu uh, slot. Okay, and then we required a slot type. So again, we will go with free form uh, since I have not created any custom entity where it went free. Form not coming. Let's close this one. Now then we will go down. Mm, why it came? Uh, then what we will do? We will go to where is the message? Uh, can you see the message? Select or oh, slot prompt. Okay. Now over here, uh, what I will do? I will click on this setting icon okay and then in the message group right uh, I will select something called card group that is for buttons so over here I will write something like please please select any of the below option to proceed okay something like that uh, so the card I can give me image also uh, if you want uh, but uh, let's uh, with the main menu options and what are the things we required in the buttons let's say we want account balance Another button we required is let's say transfer uh, balance, no amount, transfer amount. Uh, anything else we required, let's say talk to an agent. Okay, uh, so we have added three buttons, okay and then we can can go back and where is the success and failure oh, okay over here so once user select any of this right uh, so we can say thank you for uh, thank you for okay let's say so let's say sure i can assist and for no message sorry i didn't get that okay uh please select from the 
patterns okay uh, one more thing is we can add or have a response over here also so if i see right we can add a card group so let's say for the first scenario you have an nlp uh, and if user provides something which is not matching to any of the intent in the fallback scenario you can add this one uh, not over here in the fallback intent but just to give you the context but anyway uh, let's click on save intent once it is saved let's click on build once it build okay so the build is completed now we will do a test okay so if i say hi it will say welcome to xyz please select one now if you see over here we are getting the buttons now uh, so this is how we can add a button right now i have not configured what to do with this uh, once i select this one so mostly we will go to another intent uh, that will be covered in the next uh, uh, video but for now so let's say if i click on account balance here i can assist with it that is the uh, success prompt of out of it right so if i do again i'm not sure what will happen i let's say i write um, upi id it is taking anything oh, okay okay it will take anything because right now we have given the slot as uh, free form input right but anyway so that is how we can configure the buttons uh, and uh, in the next video we will see how we can handle the uh, selection menu selection hopefully you like the video thank you